Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today for Purchase or Pass. Y'all know I love me some Purchase or Pass because the holiday collections are coming, the fall collections are coming, and we are having so much fun talking about all of these releases every week. So if you want to go through them with me for this week, keep on watching. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, I am hoping everybody is doing well. Let me scoot over because I forget sometimes. And we're going to start with Makeup Release Radar. And we are going to see what is going on in the streets. And I'm actually recording this. I usually do Thursday and Friday, but there have been so many releases that I'm starting Wednesday and maybe I can edit a little bit before Friday because this video takes me a long time to edit. Let's go ahead and start with Urban Dismay. Now they have a collab with Robin Eisenberg and they are releasing this palette i don't see the name it just says urban decay and robin eisenberg i believe this person is a body positivity artist don't get me to lying but yeah um let me say this i'm really happy to see urban decay doing color i'm not happy about it being called naked because now i don't understand i just don't know why they keep calling these palettes naked just do the collab you know i don't think naked is the word for this palette it looks pretty this is going to be a pass but i am happy to see urban decay doing something else because i just don't know what's going on casey watches you she you're right here. Look, look. Casey watches. Oh, me. wow. That is awesome. Thank you. Is she on the phone? Yeah, she's right there. Hey, Casey. Hey. Hey. I'm making a video right now. Yes. Wow. Well, I don't know what to do. We're coming up right now. Okay. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my God. So, August and August has two friends. They have been like the three musketeers since they were like two. So he was telling me that um, his one of his friends watches my videos. That's so cute. All right, let's talk about Makeup Shayla. Makeup Shayla is coming out with a bridal inspired collection with Dose of Colors. She has the Wifey palette, and then there's a blush and highlight duo, and then there's a lip trio. Now I have not tried Dose of Colors yet, I know a lot of people like their lip products or maybe people like all of the products. I think this is a nice bridal set and palette, but it's just not for me. And, and the thing is, is that I love makeup Shayla. Like I think she is awesome. Our makeup style is a bit different, but she is flawless and I am really happy for her collection. So I'm gonna admire this from afar. I do think I have some things, when I look at this, I'm thinking about like my Biba palette. There are only so many neutral palettes, you know, that I would need, but this looks nice. And I'm assuming she has it on in the, the promo. So I am happy for Makeup Shayla. NBA Cosmetics is coming out with a lot lately, right? This is the Flamboyant and Florges palette. Both of these are a no, but you know, if you are into these color stories, they look really pretty. I am just going to pass. It is not something that I really desire in my collection. So Menagerie is coming out with the Paws and Claws collection. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, actually I'm not, cause I don't know. I kinda want this though, because I really do like Menagerie Cosmetics. I only have two of their palettes. I have the Indigo Ink palette and I have the Sugar Glider palette and they are both so great. I think what I really like about Menagerie is that their shimmers seem to have more of a dark base and that really adds something special to 
their shimmers. They are beautiful. They do the dual chromes beautifully. Some of their eyeshadows do stain. I don't care. So I am really interested in seeing what these palettes are gonna look like. Yeah, I am. It just says coming soon and hopefully sooner than later. We talked about Danessa Myricks and I know this is out. I uh, told you all that I am passing on this. I think this is great for people who don't have a lot of these types of shades like from indie brands that need it all in one place that may be traveling. And if you do have these types of indie shades, you probably wouldn't want to travel with them. You know, they're, they're singles and they're delicate. So this would be a nice alternative. It looks like we have some different formulas here, which I think these velvet chromes look really pretty. And then there are aqua chromes, which are water activated. There's some pressed chrome flakes, which I'm not happy about. And then glass metallics. So if you're somebody that likes textured eyeshadows and, and likes something like that, this is almost like a rainbow shimmer palette to me. It is pretty. Those pressed chrome flakes are a no, but it's interesting. It's Danessa Myricks. I, have a couple Danessa Myricks products that I really don't go for. I have some of those twin flames and some of those, um, I don't know, the ones that come in the little squeezy thing. You can use them on your eyes and I think on your lips and your cheeks. I don't know what they're called. I don't know why I can't think of it, but I don't really go for those. So I'm just going to go ahead and admire this from afar. I think from for now, some of these like grungy green shades are really calling to me, but I'm just thinking about my indie singles collection and how much I have. And if I'm that pressed on taking them with me, I can put them in some type of palette, but I'm probably not gonna take them with me. Now I am seeing a lot of skincare, but I am skipping the skincare. I, I just don't see anything that looks really exciting in skincare as, as far as what I'm seeing right now. So I'm going to continue on. Oh God. So Tarte, the Amazonian clay eyeshadow wardrobe, a get holiday party ready with two limited edition XL palettes featuring 36 new shades. Um, these are no, this doesn't attract me. So no. And I think there's another picture of this somewhere else. Here's something else. I mean, so now we have the carnival XL remastered. This is just overwhelming. This is just too much. Oh, and then there's the Carnival All-Stars palette. 45 shades. The All-Stars palette has 24 of the most iconic shades from some other palettes. Okay, this is a no. I'm overwhelmed. I mean, basically, both palettes are too big for me. Gonna come back to the sneak peek from Nomad because we do have four shades that um, we have seen. Okay, this is something else by Tarte. This is another part of their holiday collection. I am not getting any of this. I don't even like it. It's just kind of blah for me. And oh, these blush shades look nice. And I know that Tarte, I used to love me some Tarte. Like that was the one of the first foundations I ever tried. I don't think I really got too much into eyeshadow from Tarte. I don't think I've ever tried any Tarte eyeshadow. I feel like I might be lying, but no, I don't think I wanted that palette they had that looked like the bumblebee with like the little honeycombs, but that was from like their sister brands. I just can't remember what it's called at this point. So I'm glad I didn't buy it. I know that Tarte makes good products, but um, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I'm just not into it. Now Elf has a bundle with Kelly Strack, who I believe is on YouTube, right? And it looks like these are existing products. So you have the Halo Glow Liquid Filter, two luminous putty blushes in the shade Isla de Sol and Belize. There's a bite size eyeshadow and cream and sugar, bite size face duo and lychee lip. You got oh, there's some more stuff. I am sure it's a great price. And I think all of these products by e.l.f. Are, are good. So if you like this little curation, I think it's probably a good price. Subscribe. Are you about to cry? No. Looks like you're about to cry. I'm not. Uh, All right, let me let me do this. Oh, good 
So I, I do not dislike Kourtney Kardashian. I don't dislike her, but. First of all, let me say this. This release from her is right up her alley because she's very, from what I've seen, you know, into what she's putting in her body and different things like that. However, is she, what is she in? Are these the vitamins? Okay, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that picture for her. This picture's cool. Oh man, I messed up the thing. I'm sorry y'all. Cause see, I'm not, see, that's what happens when you're not being nice, but I wasn't being mean. So the line is called let me and it's like, let me, let me chill. Let me matcha. Let me get you some sandwiches. You know, y'all remember that? Oh my God. What movie is that from? My sister will always say it. Is it bad Santa? Like stuff will be going down and grandma will be like, let me get you some sandwiches. Like, oh my God. Anyway, the comments, let me not purchase these pills because it will make you become one of them. Hard pass. Let me pass on Kardashian anything. Oh God, I don't know, when I saw that, I just, I just, I lost it. So yeah, let me chill, let me match, let me focus. Let me know what y'all think about that, okay? I mean, it's catchy. Let me move on. That's what y'all gonna let me do, move on. Now, I mentioned how Rihanna's not giving us music, but she's giving us other things. She gave us the ketchup and makeup, she's giving us the icy gloss balm, and now she's giving us this icon case for the refillable lipstick. Now, what I did not know, because I didn't realize these were these uh, sports ski crystals, I, don't, I have a hard time saying that, was that it's $500. You need to leave. Somebody's gonna buy this. Now, my thing, first of all, if you wanna spend $500 I, and you have it, I, I can't judge because I missed my delivery for my sweet atelier house of siage today because they got delivered to my school after people left the office. I just don't think this case is pretty. I don't like it. It looks gaudy and that's my issue. So it's only 100 of them. They are handmade, but this is a handmade no because I just don't like how this looks. And y'all know how I am about my little $28 because it makes my little Dior denim case look rinky dink. But I love that case. I love it. So I understand like a lip case that someone's gonna love. I just don't particularly like the way this one looks. Matter of fact, speaking of House of Siage, I would get one of those lipstick bows before I would get this one. I don't know, but it looks, oh, I hate saying about people I like. it looks cheap to me let me know what you think i'm not trying to be hard on it but it's just my initial thought hen dash is coming to beauty bay i am going to pass on all of this but he is available hmm. oh did it hurt yeah oh, it's okay rose ink is coming out with an I, ultra i hope I marky take his bandeau you did okay i'm very proud of you all with your shots Oh, it has a, look, do you see the hole? I see the hole. It's a little hole. It's okay. Let me finish this so I can get you a sandwich. Sandwich? Yeah. Um, it's okay. Let me get you some sandwiches. What is that? Wait, can I have a... No, I said let me get you a sandwich. What is a sandwich? Oh, yeah. Um, really going. Where are you going to put on my sandwich? What am I going to put on it? Huh? What do you want on it? Bacon. Oh, cause I was just joking. I'm not getting a sandwich. You're about to get a shower. Let me get you a shower. Let me move on because this is about to be a whole joke, the whole video, and I'm not gonna be able to get through it. All right, so Rose Ink has this Ultra Black Lash Lift Serum Mascara. Hmm. It has squalene peptides, argan oil, and goji berry oil extracts. What? Yeah, yes, please, yes. That's cool. That's cool. Um, it is coming soon. I'll keep y'all posted. Oh my God, it's so funny because I was just talking about my ZC palettes. What is this? Are these eyeshadow palettes? Okay, no. How about no, Scott? Like, no. So these are Dreamland eyeshadow palettes and there's a refreshing silky powder and a primer. I'd be curious about what makes this powder refreshing. Let's see. 
nothing. You need to leave. Let me move on. Anything that's black and white, I, I can't do. I, I, I don't need these teasers in my life. I need instant gratification. Thomas has finally decided he was gonna go ahead and release this white suede eye and cheek palette, the 150th anniversary exclusive, and it might be $150. I like this, but I will not get this. I do not need this. I have these shades, the blush looks good, but I've, I've got the blushes that I need in my life and more and the hourglass palettes. Two of them will be mine. So I am, you know, pining away after those. I did see the swatches of this palette somewhere, but I believe that this is exclusively at Bloomingdale's and it's got, you know, the white casing. All right, gotta move on. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy I'm seeing things that I don't want because the things that I have been wanting are costly. Now here we have the holiday collection from, uh, I was about to say Nomad Cosmetics. I don't know what I'm thinking. Mac. Every time I see a circular situation like this, I think of that hat box by Pat McGrath with the three blushes that I want but will not purchase because I need them in a different format. I'm not getting this. Does it look cheap? Let me know what y'all think. Let me move on. I'm skipping Trixie in the rainbow palette. Skipping Bobbi Brown. Let's go to Nomad and look at these gorgeous shades. I will be getting this palette this week, I believe. I am so sorry that I did not get the Costa Rica palette video up because I received that and I was out of town. And then I just like the day I got the day after I got back from out of town, I went to work. So it just has been a whirlwind since then. And I didn't get a chance that Costa Rica palette is beautiful and the shimmers are really nice. I really prefer them to the ones in the Provence palette. That just wasn't a color story for me, but the Costa Rica palette is beautiful and I am so excited to see what this palette is gonna be because they are these beautiful fall tones and they are right up my alley. So yeah, look at the little embossings. I'm really excited. I cannot wait to get this one. Now here we have by Shuimura, Shuimura, Beauty. Marky, go get a shower. No, because I said no more Starbucks and you keep asking me and I've said no. So no. Okay, no. Do you know what? Go ahead and eat them. And you know what's gonna happen? No, not. What's not gonna happen? Tommy eggs. Tommy egg. What else? Tyler poop. You might get diarrhea poop. I I don't want to get Tyler poop. I don't want you to get it but you want to get it. You do. If, I, if someone tells you no and then you keep asking and you're gonna do it anyway, that means you want it. Okay, bye. I, that noise is unacceptable. It's not time. It is not time. Have you had a shower? No. You have? Then go get one. Can you? Okay, now my door's open. So this brand is coming out with a Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette. And it's funny because I was, it's funny because I was just looking at my ColourPop one for the declutter and it's still here. So uh, this is a no. Why did I do what? No, I can't see. Mm -mm. So it looks like there is a palette and some lipsticks. Uh, this is going to be a no. Marky's about to get in trouble. No! Ella Mosca Beauty is coming out with an Amy Winehouse collection don't or second collection. Don't know how I'm going to feel about that. What else? Didn't get the Jumbo Bronzer by Sonia G. Oh, I'm just trying to skip past things I knew I'm not getting. Like this Byredo stuff, Murad. Valentino. We talked about Dior and this foolery. No, it's no. What is this? I, I just, I can't. I gotta, let me move on. Tatcha has a Kisu lip mask in a new shade. Plum Blossom. Probably won't get that, but I love me some Tatcha. Talked about that martini. No. You know what? Before my video comes on, Hold on, we gotta we gotta do this, and then I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. Hold on, y'all, because I said I have took I had taken notes. Hold on. Hello, hi Kylie, hi Chris. It's five o'clock. Time for a cocktail. Okay, give me five minutes. Yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. 
So if you were thinking about it, think again. You need to leave. I wasn't thinking about it. So that's that. Let's give in Too Faced too, because I feel like, okay, these aren't even new products, so no. All right, anything else? I'm gonna stop here. Y'all will see me uh, with, the, with the next half of this video. Actually, let me, just, let me just finish out real fast. The Morphe collection I'm skipping. This collection by Crystal Cosmetics, I'm gonna skip all shades that I, I just don't need. The Thrills and Chills collection by NBA Cosmetics, I talked about this a week or so ago. These look pretty, but um, just not something I'm interested in. So this, this is gonna be a pass. And I think that's it. We do have the Rose Ink Satin and Shimmer eyeshadows out now. They actually look really cute. The copper one in the upper left and the khaki one in the bottom right, I really like. And they have a cute little brush and then, you know, the mascara we talked about earlier. Let me know what you think about those. I still haven't tried anything from Rose Ink because um, it looks like toilets. But I do like those two shades and I'd be curious to try one or both of them out. So I think that's it. We've talked about everything for today. So I am going to finish for tonight. And uh, I'll be back in a second so we can see what else has come out and then and wrap it up. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's Friday. I was gonna record mimosas and makeup. I don't know if I feel like doing that. However, I do feel like finishing this. So let's get this back going. Now, hopefully, I mean, it was two days ago, so now I don't remember where I left off. Uh, we talked about Nomad. Mm, I have the Nomad palette. Hopefully I'll have that up for mimosas and makeup tomorrow that's the plan now let's see have a little play with our next palette okay serenity oh i mean cosmic brushes they came out with the serenity palette and it looks like they're going to be releasing another palette before the end of the year but they're backed up with the serenity palette orders let's see what else what is this oh mitchell M -M -M mitchell Whatever, that's no. Okay, so these Halloween collections are just no's. So we have Revolution, no, and Profusion has something else called Rituals. Is that what this is called? It's like a little Ouija situation. Um, this is a no. Now here we have from Glowish a Blur Jam Silicone Free Smoothing Primer. I'm gonna pass on this all day hydration. 12 hour pore blurring and maintains skin barrier protection. Yeah, no. There was a leak of the new Huda Beauty palette. And I'm not gonna show the picture because, you know, it's, it's not really like official, but I will say that it reminds me of the Rose Quartz combined with the Naughty Nudes. So it's almost like she combined the 2020 and 2021 releases together and came up with this palette. Uh, this is her big palette that she comes out with once a year. I will also say that it reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. So I think I'm safe. Uh, with that palette. I liked Rose Quartz. I didn't get it at the launch. I just have to be in a certain mood to want to wear Rose Quartz. I definitely like the uh, Naughty Nudes more. And with the combination of Rose Quartz, Naughty Nudes, and my Jaguar palette, you almost have that new palette. So I'm going to attempt to resist that one and i'm hoping you know we'll see the official picture soon and swatches swatches could change my you know what and now i'm done i am done you need to leave. now you might ask why did you put the you need to leave sound on this release by makeup revolution you know why because i thought it was youth to the people that's who i thought it was I mean, just do a quick glance and you would have thought it was them too. And now I'm mad. Talk about some super bass. No. Real fast. I just want to say 
I came home and just touched up my concealer and that was it. I didn't put on any powder. Look at the glow. Look at, oh no, I'm lying. I did put some more blush on. I don't care. Never mind. It's fresh. So I was going to say, look how it lasted all day. It might have, but I didn't give it a chance to check. Back to what we're doing. Going to start seeing some holiday gift sets and things like that coming up because we are getting into the season. And it looks like we also have some fragrances. So we have a new fragrance from Ellis Brooklyn, Super Amber, Warm and Spicy, Warm and Sheer, Amber, Cedarwood and Vanilla Orchid. That sounds nice. Then we have a little gift set from Carolina Herrera. I have the Very Good Girl uh, perfume, which is nice. It's a little three piece set. And then Floral Street has a Peony Holiday Perfume gift set. I'm not getting any of that. Byredo has a liquid lipstick vinyl that is exclusive to Selfridges. Uh, this is gonna be a no. I really just don't need anything um, like this. The shades look really nice and I've not tried Byredo. So if you have tried them, let me know. Let me tell you. So first of all, you know, I love these Dior lip shines and I love the um, cases. So anyway, I was wearing the shade Patchwork one day, which is just a very nude beige, beautiful. Well, I washed it. And when I took it out of the washing machine, because I felt my pants, I'm like, oh, what's this? And I'm like, no. I was like, oh my gosh, it didn't get wet. Like I took it out, I smelled it. It still had that little sweet, like smell, berry, raspberry smell. Well, I took it out today to put it on. I was putting it on, I'm like, this does not smell right. So I'll be putting it empty in my empties can. I'm so sad. I love patchwork. It's a perfect, perfect shape. I am wearing pink bow in the lip shine right now. I thought it looked really nice with this look. Now, back to what we're talking about, the Millifiori, oh, I'm sorry, Millifiori collection. I don't know why I wasn't reading with my phonetic skills. This is it. It is very, I mean, blah, okay? I think the best thing out of this collection are these cases. And I believe that two out of three of them are fabric. I really like this, uh, the bottom case. That's the one I want. Those cases are $28, so I don't know. They don't really go on sale. If they come to like Macy's or something like that, then they might, but I don't know. By the way, in the meantime, yesterday I did order, actually this morning, I did order the Hourglass Tiger and Elephant palette. I have just seen too many reviews. I mean, that Tiger palette is beautiful. And the elephant palette, I think, is going to be great as well. One thing that I cannot wrap my head around with that butterfly palette from Hourglass is why did they make those blushes like that? Because I like the blushes in the butterfly palette better than the ones in the elephant palette. Butterfly palette is super light. So when I'm watching even people who have lighter skin tones than me, like the highlighters are just so bright and the powders are bright. And I have the original um, trio with the powders. So I know they would work on me, but I don't need to get them again. But if they had those elephant, uh, those butterfly blushes in the elephant palette, those blushes are the best ones. Or they could have just done one of the butterfly uh, blushes in the elephant and then one of the elephant in the butterfly ones, just to give people some options. Why am I not on their team? Anybody could be on their team because all of us could see it. Moving on, I've got both of them. <sighs> NBA Cosmetics is, is the one of the most. Now they have a date night palette coming. It's a lot. So we talked about the Shuamara Sailor Moon palette. I I might've talked about it in this video or last week. Clos de Poe or Clay de Poe. I've showed that holiday collection already. It's an absolute no. Thomas did come out, I believe, with that $150 palette. But now we have some new scents. Now, a Bing Fume is not new. That was not new. I don't know if Santal Blush is new, but um, it looks like there are three shades or fragrances. Now, these are no. A Bing Fume is such an odd smell. I got a sample of that one. I don't know. I'm not the best with um, fragrance descriptions, but it reminds me of Christmas and powder mixed with a sneeze. Ariel said it smelled like a sneeze. And then it's crazy because when I put it on again, I knew exactly the smell she was talking about. And I am 99.9% .9 
Y'all know the smell too. You know what a sneeze smells like, like a kid sneeze. If you don't, you're not missing anything. Okay, no. About Face Beauty is coming out with an eye gloss. That's a no, just gotta move on. Kogan Doe is coming out with something bland. That's a no. KVD is a no, I don't even know what that is. Moving on. Makeup Eraser is trying to be cute with the season and that's a no. All right, so Nomad did reveal that their destination is Hudson Valley. And I believe this palette is gonna be revealed today, I guess when you're watching the video at some point, if not already. So, like I said, I'm trying to have that up for it. Mimi says it me. Um, let's move on to this. Hold on, let me get my sound. Can I get the sound? Because the sound, the sound is is part of, of, of what what I'm concerned about. That's that's my concern. So let me just let, let's go to Patricia and her website. Let me do that. <laughs> One more time. First of all, it's super pink. Okay, my concern, I have a couple concerns and I wonder, okay, okay girl. How do I, sorry, sorry y'all. I have a couple concerns, thoughts, questions. Let's just take a look at the comment section here. Let's see if anybody's gonna say my thoughts. No one has said my thoughts, so I'm gonna say it. My concern with this, first of all, it is a mothership makeup. So let's just, I mean, that's what I believe it to be. She has come out with mothership makers for the past two years. My concern is that the music sounds like Bridgerton. And my concern would be that she would take the two original Bridgerton six pans and put them in that palette with six new shades. Why is that my concern? That is my concern because that's what she did in 2020 with the Star Wars palettes. Now, I didn't mind it so much with the Star Wars palettes, even though I had the original ones, because at least those two palettes were different. If she were to possibly take the two Bridgerton six pans, which I'm really hoping that she doesn't do this, but I have to prepare myself because if she did do it, I would not be surprised. My concern with the Bridgerton palettes is that they look very, very similar. So if you are getting that, you're gonna have like those mattes, those pinks and the, I don't know, eggplant type color. Like, And then she might do something special for the middle, wondering if she would include, you know, or have those astral shades. It just sounds like Bridgerton, y'all. That's what it sounds like. Like the music for Moonlit Seduction sounded like the disco, you know what I'm saying? This, we are back to Bridgerton. I will be surprised um, if it's something else, but I am just kind of speculating because I told you guys, I'm excited to see what Pat McGrath is gonna come out with. I am just hoping that this isn't it. And the other thing I'm wondering, because like I said, I did have the Star Wars palaces, are the six shades in the middle, if this is all hypothetical, of course, are the six shades gonna be amazing where I would wanna buy the entire palette? I, I would be extremely disappointed and I'm, why are we even doing Bridgerton? Like, I'm just tired. We have a release from Pariah House Cosmetics. This is called the Telltale Spice Palette. Oh no. Two shimmers, one dual chrome and one glitter. Well, that's out. No, no. Actually, the glitter doesn't look like a glitter glitter, but anything that says glitter, I'm weary, okay? This is gonna be available on the first. It's pretty. I do have shades similar to this, so I'm going to say no. You need to leave. It's just Certain things I don't even click on, but just like the picture. Why is it called the alternative? The alternative eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna see if there's anything else. I don't really have um, a whole lot of um, energy to address that. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't even have commentary 
Usually I have something witty to say, but check out Trend Beauty. Oh, is this a little holiday set? Now I would get this holiday party green clean trio because I, first of all, I'm out of it. And that Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm was not doing it for me. So I, I put that in my empties. Now, I really wanted to try the little peaches and cream one. I would like to try some, mm, don't want to try pear. Blueberry, tangerine, and pear punch. Okay, I made it up because I thought it was peaches and cream. They don't have a peaches and cream? Let me find out. Hold on. Let me get you some sandwiches. Oh, for some reason I thought they had a peaches and cream. I'm not making that up. I know I'm not. Okay, I might have made that up, so. I would love for them to come out with the peaches and cream scent. How about that? Uh, that's it, Kylie's collection. And let me move on to see. It appears as though Amarezi is coming out. Amarezi? Is it Amarezi? Oh, no, Amarezi. Amarezi. What? Looks as though Amarezi or Amarezi. Is it one E or two? Oh, it's a one. So it's Amarezi, I guess. I've been saying Amarezi all the time. Whatever. That's Chris Brown's fault. Chris Breezy, Amarezi. Yeah! Oh, sorry. Oh, I can't even get myself together. She's coming out with makeup. That's cool. I am not getting this new no. for me, Sculpt. Let's go to Chic Profile Official. Uh, what is this? No. Okay, yeah, so now we're safe. I'm safe, you're safe, we are all safe. Looks like we're safe. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So Pat McGrath, regardless of how I feel about her releases, I'm always curious about what she's going to come out with. I really hope that I am incorrect about the Bridgerton situation. I hope it's just, if it's gonna be Bridgerton, I just hope it's something different altogether and not those old palettes, just because there are so many similarities in those palettes. And believe it or not, I actually think I like the original Bridgerton palette versus the new one. And I wish that we could just leave it alone. But for people who didn't get Star Wars, this mothership mega was great. For people who didn't get Bridgerton, this may also be a great deal because these palettes are going for like $79 and you're getting the 18 shades. So it might not be a bad look because some people will be like, oh, I skipped the Bridgerton palettes, but now I can get them both and six new shades. So I've gone ahead and made this up. Do not quote me on this. This is all speculation. I want to set myself up to not be set back. Yeah, that's what I want to do. The Nomad palette is here. I will have a video up on that. I was right when I said that it was a color story that I, I would really like. Still waiting on Notoriously Morbid to arrive. I will do a video on that. I have also seen some sneak peeks of, okay, Hourglass I told you about. I've also seen some sneak peeks of the Chanel Holiday Collection. And I really like the quad and one of the highlighters. I think I would like one of those. I plan to skip Huda. I plan to skip Dior. We looked at those a while back. Um, not Huda, but Dior. I don't like those quints. They're just a little too cool toned for me. And if you haven't seen any of these releases that I am talking about, I am gonna link a description box. In, I'm not gonna link a description box. I'm gonna link an Instagram account in my description box that I think you all would like. I just don't wanna leak any pictures because like, their accounts will get taken down and I don't want that for anybody that's trying to bring us the tea and help us figure out what we're doing with these coins. Don't know, I saw, I skipped. This is why I sell, skipping, Tom Ford, all that. I'm just not into any of it. The Urban Decay, no. I did skip the Shroud palette. I don't know if people have gotten theirs yet. I haven't seen anything up. By the way, I did order the Discovery set for the Disney um, fragrances from House of Siage, as well as a couple other things. The Minnie Mouse scent is the new one. I'm wearing it now. The Discovery set is $25, but they're those little 2ml vials or whatever, spray bottles. To me, the Minnie Mouse scent smells like raspberry and cotton candy a little bit. I really like it. 
When I sprayed it though, I got a twinge of something I didn't like and then it went away. And that might be the caramel because I was concerned about that caramel note, but this smell, I don't know what it is, but what I am saying is it's there for literally a second and then it's gone. When this Minnie Mouse fragrance goes on sale for 40% off, I am gonna get that to go with the Mickey fragrance. Now, we're in the Mickey on this. I don't think these are two fragrances that I would mix or put together. The Mickey Mouse one, I, it's hard for me to explain what it smells like. I think I refer to it as a grown up coconut type smell. I like the Minnie Mouse better. Yeah, it really smells like raspberry cotton candy if there is such a thing. So I did wanna share that the Atelier collection, the Sweet Chiffon and the Sweet Atelier, the pink one. That one, and I can do a video on this, but I'm not really um, educated when it comes to fragrances, but I just wanna tell you, that one smells like Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. However, I like Bitter Peach better. It's more peachy. Bitter Peach has a peach and a little bit of something floral. This one has peach, but more of something floral with it. And then the Sweet Chiffon, or a Cream Chiffon, it is like a creamy smell, kind of like, a vanilla type smell, uh, is that what you call gourmand? Like a dessert type uh, smell. Now, the Minnie Mouse and the Yellow Cupcake might go together. But you guys, like, I don't wanna get in trouble with House of Siage because like they have some really good promotions. And when I think about it, I mean, I know that you can't refill these. I did try to take the thing off to do it because one of my um, Instagram friends had said something and I was like, ooh, let me just see. No, you can't. So they are gonna be just little statement pieces when I'm done with them. The perfume lasts a pretty long time, you know? So I'm not mad about it at all. Sometimes when you order a certain amount, like they give you all these samples. Like I got the, I got a free cupcake. I got, oh, I got a free like travel spray with a sprayer. I got, I mean the free cupcake was great because that one's not on sale. It was worth $360. So I thought that was great. I got the men's discovery sample set for free. So I gave that to Tyrone and then I got, the whispers in the garden sampler set those are the ones i haven't smelled i did get the signature sampler set and that's how i decided which ones i wanted but wonder woman i got it 50 percent off uh, mickey i got it 40 percent off the cream chiffon and the sweet atelier i got them at 40 percent off batman still is trying it with me but no and eventually I'd love a lipstick bow, but you know, trying to build up, not trying, but I am building up my fragrance collection slowly. I really love scents, but I was never really into perfume until uh, my friend Al Feisty gave me some samples and I just fell in love with Wonder Woman, Bitter Peach, and Tobacco Vanille, and those will probably still be like my favorites. I am, this is a side note conversation, but the Burning Cherry, I am definitely considering getting that in full size because that one reminds me a lot of Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. And during the Sephora sale, you know, you'll be able to get that 20% off. I am like sparingly trying to use my little travel um, size. So I think that's it. I did get Night Bloom from Pat McGrath, which was her duo blush. It is really unique. I swatched just the teeniest amount and I think it may have clown potential on me. I'm thinking like Vivid Azalea by Wayne Goss. Like I have to be so careful. So that blush will probably last me a lifetime. I think that is going to be it. I'm hearing that Unearthly has been sneak peeking Halloween palettes and I think I'm missing it. I don't know if it's in her stories or not and I haven't heard from the brand as to whether or not it, this is something that they're sending out for PR. I haven't gotten like some of the latest things. Usually with collab palettes, they don't send those, but like the big Vitality palette, I didn't get that one. I think the last thing that I received was the Bunnies Remastered palette, which is totally fine. It's just that I wanna see the Halloween palettes. Oh, and I also received the Duochrome liners and I did a reel of those 
over on Instagram. I am gonna just keep y'all posted. And Hydrant's back in stock, looking good. Still waiting on that Minka palette that they're coming out with. I'm excited about that. House of L is gonna be leaving on September 22nd. If this is a color story that you are into, I would definitely grab this because the shimmers in House of L are unreal. All of the shades work so beautifully and the shimmers are just, they are fantastic. If it's a color story that you like, I highly recommend House of L, like highly. And lastly, but Nomad Cosmetics, I may have said it already in this video or last week or not at all, might have thought I said it. They're going to be discontinuing the Haunted Europe palette. And oh my gosh, I do think I talked about this recently and I wore the palette uh, the other day. That is a really nice palette and it is going to be discontinued. Oh, it was on sale, but I do think they are, this one's going to be gone. So if you are interested in Haunted Europe, it's $44 and um, I have a code, it's Frizz Face. So that's for 10%. This is, this is a really nice palette. That one, America's Parks, the Hudson Valley. I think those three are gonna be like my faves. All right, you guys, that's it. Let me know what you're thinking about all of what's going on in the makeup streets. Let me know your thoughts. What are you thinking about? I, I, it seems as though they are releasing and sneak peeking the holiday collections earlier and earlier every year. And now I'm just kind of on to it. You know, when I first started, I wasn't really looking for these collections or anything like that, but it's really an exciting time. I love the fall. I love like the hoodie weather. I love the fall colors. So I do like seeing these palettes come out, but I just have to try to not get sucked into getting everything as you know i've done two declutters i'm not done let me move on let me leave thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me i hope this was therapy for you it always is for me until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye thanks to my friend janelle on um youtube we're back we're back because Pat is, was in two different worlds. hold on, let me it tell you, like, Pat is trying it in a good way right now. Now, you click on her website, let me get my screen record on, <laughs> tried it, and by this time I have posted this, so you know Pat is trying it, I'm letting y'all know. Now, I'm gonna go here, direct from Pat's vault, limited edition iconic collectibles, shop now. Cause some of y'all wanted this stuff. I'm telling you, and I have it. This is when Pat does stuff that I like. Uh, platinum bronze. This is my very first Pat McGrath palette. There it is. Hello. This one I love even more. Sublime bronze ambition. Do it, Pat. Do it. Now, even though my purple is a little dry, I might need to do some tape on it. Just gonna leave those there, $49. Just gonna leave that there. Okay, no, what is this? No, now, now everything else, no. I have this Crimson Couture lip kit, that's a no. Some people wanted ritualistic rose though. Now, why she wouldn't bring Nocturnal Nirvana back? I don't know. I think that is all guys and gals, but those, those three palettes, the first two, I'm gonna say that, bronze, platinum bronze, bronze ambition. I'm into those. I am into, I am telling you, not a bad seat in the house. La Vie and Rose, I think a lot of people will like those. Um, and I have it. I don't really wear it. Maybe I should pull it out. Let me know. Let me know if I should pull it out if y'all getting it. Let me post this. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye.